Oh, hello, mate. Just uh, sticking a bit of motion lotion in the old gold speedbird. <laughs> Here we are at Yasmina Circuit with Nielsen Racing. Just unloaded the container, got the garage set up, and now it's time to work on the car. Last weekend we had two four-hour races in Dubai, so the car's got a lot of work to get it ready for this weekend coming up and the testing before that. So we start off lifting the car up in the air, getting the bodywork off, and stripping off all the race parts and swapping them back over to the testing parts and doing general maintenance on the car after the races. Uh, we've got a couple of days to do it and then we're back out testing the circuit. So once you've got all the bodywork off, start stripping the parts. Let's get the race exhausts, swap them back, uh, split the car in half at the back of the engine and the Dunhausen so we can measure uh, the clutch and re-shim it to make sure that's correct. We'll remove the uh, gear ratios out of the gearbox, swap them back from uh, the, test, the race set over to the test set and loads of other general maintenance stuff we swap over parts. Once the car's back together, do some pit stop practice, get the rest of the equipment and pit lane ready for the week ahead and go on from there. Let's see how the week goes. What's going on out here, PK? We're just uh, raising the tank. We're getting it as high as we can so it's absolutely optimum for fuel flow. <laughs> Beautiful. Do you want to hand push it up, actually? Yeah, I'll be happy. Yeah. This is going to be a good video unless you're still in the studio holding this tank. Ooh. <laughs> what a good box looks like and what a... And what a f***ing terrible one looks like. Fourth go lucky though. So I just mine your box. <laughs> <laughs> test. Happy Thursday, mate. Happy Thursday, Jack. Huh? And they're on. Yeah, they're on. Oh, hey, Charles, don't spin it on turn one this time, yeah? <laughs> No. Let's go. Front was worse. It felt worse than first one. It looked a lot better on that one. It did feel worse. The rears went well. Front went <laughs> for me. Yeah, that one weren't too good for me, but it was all right. The thing, the thing with the wheels, though, I mean, as long as you're packed out far, it doesn't really change when no. you do two. We need to know the routine, though. Yeah, but the routine's very similar. What would routine be for the rights? It's just the same again. Or would you want? And for outsides, you will land some just love, but... Can we try that? Eleven seconds is... Yeah. So you drop it this side. And then, are you carrying wheel back and I drop the lance? Cool. Quicker than just one side. When you reach that one, send them out 
think we'll just do one more. Put one more full on you. Oh, boom ready. No, getting tired. So here we are, pushing the car out for the first test session. Just getting ready to go. Remove the skates, turn the wheels up, get the air strap on the wheel refuel the car and then send it to the end of the pit lane ready for the session. Quick push back as there's no car behind us but there's a car blocking us in in front so push back get some room and off we go. Car comes in for drive change and we're doing a rear wing change. So I'll swap it for the spare rear wing, just got to the wings get ready. And send the car back out. See if that adjustment's better. Session now. The car comes in at uh, 45 because the car behind is blocking it in, so drop it down, straighten it up, get the wheels off, get the car back in the garage, and get it prepped ready for the next session after that. Here 
we are in the evening session. Got the car in, just done a quick rear roll bar change. Get the bodywork back on. I believe it's a red flag on the circuit at the moment. So, get the car back outside, ready to go back out. That's the end of the evening session. Just did another 45 skating, just from rear skate and the end of the race. It's quicker doing one skate in the rear, all three. And then get all three skates under. Cruise the wheels. And four. Get the car back in and get it reprinted. So once we get the car in, get the wheels off, get the body work off, get the body work out of the way. Grab that We get the lifting frames bolted onto the rear and the front of the car so we can lift the car up onto the high stands and make it a lot easier to work on. What's happened here, James? Bit of, bit of contact with Aston Martin in free practice, which happened 10 minutes after you said it should be an early night. <laughs> <laughs> Fun part of motorsport this is. 11 p.m. bleeding brakes. That we've already bled once before without the car. <laughs> already, ble already bled once before before the car's been on track. <laughs> Close. Open. Closed. Open. Closed. That's it. 11.05. First test day done. Car's in one piece ish. What do you have to say about today, Cookie? Okay. It started off alright. And then. Then James said it's empty that. Sometimes, sometimes maybe good, good, sometimes maybe. <laughs> right, anyway. A life flash before my eyes. Time to go home. We're dead boring. Uh, <laughs> so it is always bad when you're leaving at 10 past 11, walking back to the hotel 15 minutes. But yeah, what but always does what always does cheer you up is you're never usually the last, and there's still some teams <laughs> still working. So that that makes it a bit better. Positive.